Hi, and welcome back. This is White Armor Consulting, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to use Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition. We will download and install Bitdefender Antivirus and go through the many features that it has to offer you. Let's begin. First, open up your favorite browser, type in Bitdefender Free Antivirus. And you're going to look for the URL that starts, that looks like this, www.bitdefender.com slash solutions slash free.html. Click that link. Now I recommend only downloading this antivirus software from Bitdefender themselves. That way you avoid any malicious softwares that you might potentially download. This ensures that it's coming from the right vendor. As we scroll down, you're going to notice that the free antivirus offers real-time threat detection, which is very handy while you're surfing around the web. It has virus scanning and malware removal, which is exactly what we're looking for. It has anti-phishing, anti-fraud. Now anti-phishing, what it does is it helps protect your passwords while you surf. It knows whether you're putting your passwords into the wrong web pages or not. And anti-fraud is also, they have a list of websites that basically they filter out so that you won't be edit in those directions. If you scroll down, you'll get an idea of what free, advanced, and total security has to offer and the prices. Now we're just going to cover the free edition. So if we scroll down, you're going to see intelligent antivirus, advanced threat defense, web attack, anti-phishing and anti-fraud, and automatic updates. If you want further protection, then take a look at their Antivirus Plus or Total Security, but just know that there's a cost associated with that. If you scroll down and you have a Mac or Android, there's also software for those OSs as well. Here's the system requirements. So if you're about to install Bitdefender, make sure you're either using Windows 10, 8.1, 8, or uh, Windows 7 with Service Pack 1. 1.5 gigs of RAM and at least 800 megs of hard drive space. They recommend 2 gigs. And this is the CPU that they recommend to run their software. You don't need to worry about the browser because most browsers, as long as you're keeping your OS up to date, the browser will also update as well. If you're using Firefox and Chrome, please check out my videos of how to update Firefox and Chrome if you do hit this problem where the browser doesn't download the software for you. Before you begin downloading Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition. Um, I have a recommendation that if you have current antivirus software on your PC now, please uninstall it using Control Panel. Do not let this software uninstall your antivirus software for you. I've noticed it does have weird side effects. So just simply go to Control Panel, go to Programs and Features, look for your antivirus programs, and uninstall them and reboot your PC before continuing with this tutorial. After you're all ready, click free download, save the file in your favorite location, and as it's downloading you can scroll down and it'll give you a step-by-step -step guide of how to install it. Um, if you're going to install it on Mac OS, Android phone, or Android tablet, there's some extra URLs here that you can click. Now, I thought this was handy. If you notice any lag after installation, they do have an FAQ that you can go to, which is this link right here. Click that, and there's a few uh, questions that they ask and with possible solutions. And if all else fails, you can open a ticket with Bitdefender and send them what's happening and a system snapshot or a screenshot and try to help them fix the problem you're having. So as you're waiting for it to finish downloading, when it does, just click the down arrow in your Firefox or if you know the location you saved it, double click the exe, put in your password for your UAC, which is your administrator password, close the browser, and Bitdefender will now Start installing. When, Bit, when Bitdefender finishes unpackaging, 
you're going to notice a screen that looks like this. Look, by clicking install, you agree with the subscription agreement and the privacy policy. Now you can send them anonymous usage reports or uncheck if you don't want to do that. What that means is anonymous usage reports include product related information that helps us improve the quality of the software you are using. No personal identifiable information will be sent to our service. I turn it off, I don't really care, and then click install. Now what Bitdefender will initially do is it will first scan your PC and then it'll conclude with the installation. Now when the installation is finished, you'll notice the Bitdefender icon showing up in the top right hand side. Once it gets to 100%, we can then look at the features it has to offer. And then I'll give you a little bonus tip at the end if you're a gamer. I've noticed that uh, by turning this off while I game, it makes life a little easier. Now when you see this screen, you're all done. So what you need to, to do next is you need to sign in before you can use Bitdefender. So you should see a screen like this. Fill it out with your email and, your, and a, a nice strong password. You already have an account. Now you're just going to go ahead and sign in. They require this account so that way they can keep track of who's installing their program. And that's it. You'll then notice this screen. So system scan means it'll just scan your system. Uh, drag and drop file, any file or folder here to start scanning. So if you have a file or folder that you think is suspicious or you're not sure of, you can just click and drag right into the window itself. The gear at the top will let you look at the settings of the of the software. So first is events. If there's any events from the software itself, you'll you'll notice them here, uh, or updates from the company. Quarantine if it does find anything. Exclusions. If you have gaming programs or something stops working, you can add the exclusions to this list here. You just click add exclusion. You can add the file, add the folder, or add the URL. Sometimes web pages might stop functioning. And then you have protection. So that's that's the settings of Bitdefender Antivirus Free Edition. Protection Shield is the real-time scanning engine. So if you have problems with gaming or just surfing in general, what I would recommend is to first verify if it is Bitdefender, turn this off, play your game or surf, see if things are better, and then turn it back on. As you'll notice in the background, when you turn it off, it'll tell you you're at risk. And then when you turn it back on, it'll go to protected. This tells you the engine version so you can verify you're up to date. And that's it. When you hit the gear, everything to do with those settings will be exactly what I showed you. Send anonymous usage reports. You can turn it on or off from here. Display notifications with special offers. Turn that off. Close. And that's everything. If you have any questions about this tutorial or it doesn't work for you, please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for future security videos. Thanks and take care.